All right, guys, welcome back to WRX Garage. Uh, I got Kyle here with me. We both been quarantined for quite a while, so we're fine to be in a car together. But um, as you guys know, you know, risking we're a little our lives. Uh, risking yes. our lives. Yeah. For subscribers. Yes. For, for you guys. We're doing this for you. Essential workers. We're, well, yeah. <laughs> so uh, today, uh, as you guys know, we've been, you know, it's we're pretty limited on what we can do for car parts, but we decided that, you know, we had a big milestone last week. We decided to start um, open up. Uh, we asked last last video for you guys to, you know, submit some questions and uh, we want to take the time to, you know, talk about ourselves and answer some questions that you guys have for us. So um, we're going to do a quick, quick Q and A session, a Q and A session and uh, yeah, cool. So these are all questions that you guys submitted uh, to our Instagram. So thank you to everyone. Um, just for time's sake, we're not gonna, you know, tell everyone's names, but um, yeah. Just for those, it, I went through and made like a note of all the ones that like I really liked. Ones we got on Instagram. Ones I got on my own Instagram. So I just made like a little list in my notes of ones I thought would be pretty good. Cool. All right. So what's number one? What are we starting right, with? Uh, what's your favorite Subaru of any? Obviously a WRX or STI. Any first. era. <sighs> Will people hate me if I say the Brat? Yeah, yeah <laughs> definitely. Um, uh, I, I'd, pro I'd have to go classic. I have to go GC8. Yeah, it's a, it's pretty close between that and then the 04, 05 blah by. If it if it had to be a modern one, I'd probably say the the 12 to 14. Yeah, the wide I, body. I like the the yeah the 12 to 14 sedan. I really like really? those. I See, really a, like those. The, the ones before it, I just thought were too bulbous, and they look like an like a ST. They look like, you know what I mean? Yeah, 12, 12 to 14 have to be a hatchback for me. And then if I had a, I guess if I had to rank them, I'd probably do Blob, GC8, 12 to 14 hatch, Hawkeye, this one, Bug way last. I'm surprised neither of us said the 22B, but I guess that is a well, that form is, that's a GC, of the. That's a yeah. GC8. Yeah, that's kind of the same body style. We didn't get those because we suck. <laughs> All right, we yeah. did that one. Next, are you guys going to be at Wicked? Yes, we are. We actually just talked. Uh, we had a subscriber drive up to us right before we started filming this, and uh, hashtag famous. <laughs> Hashtag YouTuber famous, yeah. yeah. We're, we're basically David Dobrik at this in right yeah. now. So uh, shout out to you, Brian. What's up? Thanks for saying hi. Um, yeah, so for Wicked Big Meat, we are definitely going to be there. Um, they postponed it to September for those of you guys who bought tickets. Make sure you mark September that. September 13th, yeah. if my memory is correct. Yeah, I'm all, I'll put the date right pink here. So um, yes, we're doing that. We're all going to be there, and we actually have, uh, we're going to be announcing a little bit of a surprise for the first couple people that uh, are able to spot us in the crowd at Wicked Big Meat and come up and say what's up. So, um, on top of that... Free car parts! Yeah. I'm just kidding. On top of that, what are we else are we planning? Um, well, we've we've been talking about it, and we're not sure if we want to enter our cars for like the, I say show cars, but there's just like the, almost like the VIP kind of, you know, show yeah. car lot. Or, but the problem with doing that is you gotta get there an hour early than everyone else. Same thing with like the autocross people. Or we were thinking maybe do like a meetup beforehand, um, like in a giant parking lot, and then everyone crews up together. So we're not sure which avenue, because if we do the VIP, we can hang out there, and then if people see our cars, they could see us, we could say hi. Or we could do the meetup before, so we're not sure, but um, let us know what you think we should do in the comments. Cool, yeah. Either. VIP or cruise. Cool. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. All right. What's up next? Next up, what are your other hobbies? Oh, cool. You want me to go first? Yeah, go, go for first. it. All right. For me, um, besides working, um, let's see. Xbox. Um, and then uh, I like outdoor stuff: dirt biking, quadding, snowmobiling. Um, I do all that. I'm trying to think, what else? Do you play soccer sports. a lot? Sports, yeah, soccer, pass football, a little bit of basketball, just hang out like kids. Piss off my girlfriend, it's probably my... Yeah, that's number one hobby. It's probably my... I'm probably the <laughs> best at that one. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's probably my best. Um, <laughs> that's funny. Um, I guess for me, um, I guess you guys don't know, if you follow my personal Instagram, you probably see me climbing. Uh, I'm really big into rock climbing. I was on the Yukon team for a bit. Um, 
not actually found of the Yukon team, but <laughs> so. <laughs> Uh, I really like music, really big in music. I listen to probably three to four hours of music a day. Um, and I want to play really good music on our channel, but nothing sounds better than not being copyright striked. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so music is really big for me. Um, climbing, pretty outdoorsy too. I like, I like going fishing. I've been getting more into that recently, but yeah, uh, fishing too. I didn't go, I don't know why, but I just didn't have time to go fishing last year, but the year before that I went like yeah. almost every day. We've been super busy. Yeah, last year was really busy. I wonder what's been taking up all our weekends. I know. It, it, it's the channel, that's what I was referencing. <laughs> so. You guys, it's your fault, I keep you fishing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all right, next up. What is one thing that you both hate about your car that you wish you could change? That we both? What's well, up? like, what one oh, thing? Oh, yeah, well, for, okay. I'll, if you want me, I already know yeah. mine. Uh, mine is the audio system. This head unit has literally made me want to punch it. The last 14 days, I drove to Massachusetts to actually pick up something to fix the audio system. And in the middle of driving, during a Bluetooth call, Bluetooth, boop, goes out. All right, that's fine. Yeah, I, was, yeah. I wasn't talking or anything. Yeah. And it took the whole trip. Would never come back. Would not sync up to my phone. I'm like, this thing's got to go. You have to, like, turn the car all the way off. Yeah, to, yeah it's like... Yeah. And it did it literally in the middle of a call. I can understand if I turned it on. Just put it in neutral on the highway, turn the That's car off. That's what I was, off, I was thinking back, about. Turn it back like, on, yeah. There's really no one on the highway. I could, <laughs> I could just go for it. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. That's just unsafe, There's probably yeah. a speed sensor that says it can't start at, you know, 90. <laughs> I mean, or you could, just, you could have just jumped it with a clutch. Oh, that would be so sketchy. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> um, for me, and this is kind of nitpicky, but... <sighs> the build quality of the interior cabin so that has two parts for me one is road noise is pretty atrocious on these cars yeah they don't have, um, they definitely have good sound deadening and all yeah and then also the rattling with those clips there's a lot of rattles and little things that just in a modern car you really shouldn't be getting um, hopefully they they address that. It's I, a I, rally car. I know, but they they did they did fix that in the 18 and 19 and 20 models. They yeah. did update that, but um, hopefully that'll be really. I bet that'll be fixed in the 2021. I bet the 2021, the new one, is going to have really good sound deadening. But, yeah, because uh, it's on that that new platform. I think it's split between me for me for the, either that or seat position. For me, it's just there's something slightly off. Either I need to be an inch lower. Or I need to be a couple millimeters forward or back. I, I can't figure it out, but anyways. All right, next one. Next uh, one. What inspired you to start a YouTube channel? Ooh. I don't mind. Do you know yours? Money. <laughs> uh, no, me, it was actually watching probably my favorite YouTubers are the Seaboys. Um, and just watching them go out and have fun. I was like, you know what? I should try it. Yeah. I've, I've been doing um, video work and cinematography, videography, whatever you want to say, for quite a while. And I was I actually was the a media pro uh, media producer for uh, Yukon Recreation um, back in the day. So I did a bunch of filming and, and video editing for them. And um, I've always wanted to try to, you know, document some of these projects that I've been doing on my car. And um, Obviously, I'm not doing this for the money, guys. We said that in one of our last videos, but if you really look at the numbers, it's really not worth it. You can't really make money off YouTube that way. So um, that's definitely not a motivator for us, but um, yeah, you know, just, just sharing our experiences and connecting more and with the Subaru in the car community is just really cool. And that was yeah. a huge part of it. And I think if I wasn't born in Connecticut and I was born like in California, I think I would have liked to have been like a director for movies so i think that that's also i've always i've always loved film i love movies if i used to when the movie theaters were open i'd probably go like once every two weeks um absolutely love the movie so i think it's kind of like that too cool next up uh how old are you i am 25 i'm 24 turning 25 in a few months that was an easy one do you have any siblings yes <laughs> I have an older brother. Uh, yeah. And I have a younger brother. Very important question here. Ass or tits? I don't think we can answer that. Family ass. friendly? Yeah, ass. Okay. Big booty. 
Well, I got big. I can't say the last word in that. Okay. If uh, family friendly. If Subaru didn't. Who asked that? I don't know. I just I saw it. I was like, right. <laughs> whoever asked that's, that, you that's cheeky, on the list. you cheeky. That's that's a good one. <laughs> um, if Subaru didn't exist, what car would you get? Um, oh. For me, this comes into what car I almost got before I got this. Um, so I test drove a Focus ST and a Focus RS. Yeah, I was. I, and I, that, if the yeah. RS didn't have as many problems as it is, like I get these have their issues, yep, yep. but mostly they're for not. Stock. It wasn't. What was it? Head gasket? They or? had a core, like they made Subaru head gaskets look indestructible. They've had tons of head gasket problems, and they had a lot of other weird stuff over boosting and just like literally yeah, blowing everything yeah. up. So. It just had yeah. so many problems that now they're not even making them anymore, I don't think. I think they just were like, okay, yeah. we're done. Um, but I almost got one of those. But then after that, I was like, all right, maybe I should get a Focus ST. But it is front wheel drive. So I was like, yeah, in the snow, it might not be as fun. Um, I actually, people are going to hate me. I tried to get an Evo before this, but they're just too hard to find. Now that they don't make them anymore. It's hard to find one that's not modded out. Oh, or crazy or, amount of miles. Or, or crazy amount of miles, yeah. It's just, so, you know, it's just, they're kind of getting like, um, impossible to find. I would probably say Focus RS. To drive that. Yeah. The F80 M3. Mm, that's a um, nice car. Are you single? Question mark. And if not, how long have you been in a relationship? I'm not single, and I've been in a relationship for almost eight years now with Vanessa. You guys have seen her a little bit on the channel. Um, yeah, eight years. <laughs> But she, I'm single. She puts up with my bullshit. I'm so. forever alone. Um, I've actually never been in a relationship. Um, things just never really worked out that way. So, um, ladies, I can shave my beard if I need to, or I can grow it out. Whatever, yeah. whatever. If he shaves the beard, this is over. <laughs> <laughs> we should have done bearded boys as our as our name, our YouTube name. But yeah, we could do. Uh, we'll have to do like no shave November. All right, what are your future mods? This, um, for yeah. I'll, I'll leave it to this year. Do you want to leave it to this year? Because if not, yeah, this could be yeah, pretty, this could be a long this, list. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, for this year, um, probably obviously audio. First thing I got to take care of. This is not. This is not working. Um, after that, um, access port. Maybe the mid pipe to finish off the catback exhaust. Um, I think uh, I might do tail lights. I've been thinking about tail lights recently, and I'm not sure why. Maybe a wing. If you can oh find yeah. A, if you can find a trunk swap, wing or duckbill. Yeah. I really haven't decided, but um, it'd be cool if we went opposite. But if you want to go matching, that's fine too. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I've always like. I don't know why. I've always been a wing person. Yeah. But my buddy Ryan's been trying to talk me into a duckbill for. I think they're nice. Three years. So I'm not sure. Those are those are mine for this year. Yeah. Um, for me, um, I've talked about this in the last video a little bit, but basically for the next, I'm gonna do that in the next six months because the next at six months after that, I have a lot more. So uh, six months from right now, I'm doing a roof wrap, carbon fiber roof wrap, um, a E tune or Pro tune with an intake, TGP EGR, boost controller, the whole nine yards. Nice. And then tires, um, little cosmetic bits here and there, maybe a lip kit, uh, full all the way around lip kit. Um, maybe a rear diffuser, carbon fiber bits here and there. Well, yeah, we'll see. But uh, hopefully within the next six months, I'll also be able to track this car for the first time. So that'll be a fun experience and you guys will be joining me with that. So Good cool. What made you love Subaru? Uh, for me, I've actually had three in a row now. So I sold my truck when I was, I don't even know, 18. Um, so I wanted to get a WRX at that point, and then I got an insurance quote, and it was $380 a month for an 04 WRX, because I was like 17. Hmm. And that was a big no-no. So I was like, all right, I got, so I got a, what did I get, 2011? 2010 yeah um Impreza hatchback and I drove that for a year and then I was like um, and that was actually pretty fun I had a lot of fun in that car I beat the shit out of that car man I beat the shit out of that car um, so then after that I got uh, 
the 2011 and then obviously I got this. So for me, I think it was just the price and all wheel drive that it just, yeah. the price you can get one for any amount of money. You can get one from two grand up to 70 grand. Yeah. And for around here, Northeast, all wheel drive is kind of like a must have or at least have one, you know, yeah. snow vehicle. So yeah, for me, for it, it, when I was searching, um, obviously like the Focus RS came up some other all-wheel drive options came up. Um, like I was look, I was. It came down for me between the Focus RS, the WRX, and the uh, 335i BMW, which is also four-cylinder turbo. Um, basically, it checked all my boxes. Um, all-wheel drive, so it's nice and safe in the winter. Um, I ran. I run all. I've run all seasons throughout a couple winters with all-wheel drive on these cars and like a tank just cutting through snow it's crazy even on the highways three inches of snow 65 miles an hour completely fine um it's fun handles well and there's a massive massive aftermarket market yeah so that was probably another one too and also the community yeah the there's a lot of fast. things that i read online there was a lot of forums for the subarus there's a lot of content on youtube for subarus and yeah the groups on Facebook, even just going to Wicked Big Meat. If you've just gone to a normal yeah. car show, just go to see. It's just like totally different. Everyone is just so nice, man. It's and I'm, I'm, we're not saying that like other car communities aren't nice, but there's definitely no, there's a, just there's, something about there's a lot more competition or com, like no, there's just something about it. It's just aggression, different. I guess. I don't know. Subaru guys, yeah, we vape. I don't. That's our stereotype. But you vape, you vape for me. Yeah. You're my, you know. Um, but but I, for, it's you know, everyone's really everyone's great. So yeah. Um, how did you guys meet, and how long have you guys been friends? Uh, I wouldn't say we're friends yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, dude, this guy calls me like three times a day, and I call him like twice a day. Or three times a day. But it's yeah. yeah. Anyways, we try, we try to at least um, keep so we we day. met. It was actually funny. So as of like mm, two years ago or a year, ago, was he? It's about a year and a half, maybe. Yeah, maybe, it's about maybe a year and a half. Because it was like the beginning of it was like just the beginning of spring last year, I think. Yeah. So um, he and I both joined uh, Subaru Team Fifteen, the uh, car club, um, and we didn't know each other because we we're in different parts of the state. And I posted, hey, does anybody have advice on car detailing, blah, blah, blah. And he shoots me a DM on the group. And he was like, dude, I'll detail your car. Well, we can do it together. I can teach you. I'm like, awesome. When do you want to do it? He goes, tomorrow morning. Yeah. So I, I, I drove over tomorrow morning, <laughs> the next day, the next morning. And we just we kind of hit it off. Yeah. Like, yeah. We we're just like, this guy's really easy to talk to. And like, it was basically an instant friendship. Yeah. And then we just talked we did stuff on our cars even before the youtube and then yeah yeah we did yeah and then we were just like you know we were talking about it this. one day and we were like why don't we just start filming this yeah. and you know the rest is history um let's see uh let's see which one do we want to do next oh what is your favorite thing about subarus for me all-wheel drive definitely i think that it's just once you drive all-wheel drive you just can't drive anything else I, i'd have to say all, all wheel drive or just like the community what's available out there yeah the amount of people that are so supportive of this and wicked big meat is like the perfect example because you see the aftermarket community like the the people producing those products the people themselves subaru drivers yeah, and then subaru them. the <laughs> company also yeah it's kind of it, cool it's this massive huge event where it's a conglomerate of all those things and then you see the, the subaru pro racing team is there too so it, it's really cool and um yeah what was your car buying experiences like for buying these cars Ooh. So for me, I literally just started looking and I wanted a World Rally Blue 15 plus WRX under 30,000 miles for like 20 grand because I know that they marked it. And I wanted a base too because I don't want to pay an extra money for stuff that I'm just going to change out anyway. So I thought save myself three grand and then that gives me a little bit more money to put into it. But I got really lucky because this car they had for sale since like... I think he said November. For some reason, it just didn't sell. And then when I was looking in May, it was still there. And he just start, slowly started coming down on a price. 
I went there and this dude walked out with his mom and was like jumping and hollering. I was like, oh wow, I'm so happy for him. He just like bought probably his first car. So I walk in, I'm asking him about the car. He's like, oh man, he's like, I feel so bad. He's like, that guy that just walked out just put a deposit down. I'm like, this. All right, whatever. <laughs> so he's like, well, listen, he's like, I'll let you just take it for a drive. And then if he doesn't get it, you know, you can get it. So um, I took it for a drive, drove good, looked at it, you know, it was fine. I made him an offer and he was like, all right. He's like, I'll let you know if he doesn't, uh, he doesn't get it. And he called me the next day and the guy didn't get accepted for financing. So damn rip him, but you know, snatched out, from snatched him. it. Yeah. So yeah, for me, it was actually pretty good. The dude was super cool. The dealership. I literally texted him like the whole day. Yeah. Like he was like, this is what I came down to. I'm like, all right, well, can you do this and this? He's like, yeah, sure. We just texted. It was pretty cool. How about you? Um, so I got mine from a dealership, uh, used. Um, it came down for me between two cars, uh, one from a non-Subaru dealership and one from the Subaru dealership. And the first one was a 2015 with 20,000, 25,000 miles on it. Uh, I don't remember the exact pricing, um, but it was a 2015 with 17 inch wheels. And then the other one was a tw 2016 premium. Yeah, the 2015 was a base, the 2016 premium uh, with a little bit more miles, 30,000 miles on it. Um, and the difference in price was like 1,800 between the two. And so I decided, you know, I'll just, I'll get the, the newer model with premium and the larger wheels, stock wheels, and just um, decided to go for that because I wanted the heated mirrors and the heated seats and the sunroof. And um, I, th I, think, I think I made the right choice because there were a lot of issues. And then they upgraded head unit and things like that too between the 15. Barely. Yeah, barely, but. <laughs> At least it wasn't a tiny little thing, yeah. so. Yeah, Andrea's um, mad because she wants a sunroof. For those of you guys applying for cars, car loans, and things like that, when you're going to a dealership, the biggest tool that you can have is a pre-approved loan, a letter of pre-approval yeah, from to, your bank go to or from our credit union. Credit if you union can go is in, the place to go. If you can go in with that signed letter and give it to them, most dealerships will put that offer out on the market so that they can get competitive bids from other places and you'll end up saving on yeah, your end. Yeah, so if you walk in with, say, 5% guaranteed from a credit union, they could just look and say, hey, look, and we got 4.8 or whatever. Yeah. So it gives you kind of like a a bargaining chip in a way. Yeah, that's, cool. a good, that's good advice. This is going to be a long video. Do Brett. you have any future projects besides your WRX? Um, me, personally, my... I have a few dream builds that I want to do. Um, I want to do like the Impreza RS and put an STI or WRX engine That'd into cool. it and make it like the GCA, the 22B. Um, and then probably do like a track build. I've also wanted to do maybe like an autocross 0405 STI sedan or even the Hawk. Um, and then recently, I don't know why, but uh, actually my cousin that had the, he had a Hyper Blue brz and we were talking about it a few nights ago on xbox and he was like yo we really we should buy a brz again and you know and turbo it or supercharge it and yeah have a fun brz those are mine um i've always wanted to do a forester xt build uh nice. those are really cool uh outside of the subaru platform you know the dream at one point if i ever have my own garage is to buy like a probably like a salvage exotic not something super expensive, but I don't know, maybe like a BMW, like a high-end BMW or uh, an Audi R8 or... GTR or something like or that. Or a GTR, yeah. yeah. I've, my dream car is a, G, is, a, is a R35 GTR, all-wheel drive, baby. Like, it's, it's hard to go back. Like, logically, if you're street racing, I don't understand why anyone would ever go rear-wheel drive. Up yeah. here, at least. Up here. When you're, when you're down south... And the, the road is at least 60 degrees constantly throughout the year. Yeah, it's not really, there's no, really no much difference. But. For mine, outside of Subaru would be a 69 Mustang. That was my first ever dream car. Those are cool. Um, so yeah, that would be mine. Let's see. Um, what originally got you into cars? For me, kind of cliche, but Fast and Furious. I'm that age where when Fast and Furious came out, I was a kid and it just kind of like hooked me and then I just kept, you know, falling in love. I um, 
I was never really big into cars until around midway through college, to be honest. I was growing up like, oh, yeah, cars are cool. I went to some shows and, you know, I liked certain cars, but I was never really big into it. And what really introduced me was watching more and more YouTube content creators on, you know, that, that do car builds and the restoration. And I've always loved working with my hands. And for those of you guys who know, yeah, open those windows, it's getting hot. Um, I built my own computer. And I love doing that kind of project, working with my own hands after work and stuff. And um, I just decided one day that the next car I was going to get was going to be a performance car that I could work on myself. So nice. And ever since then, I've been obsessed, like nope. really badly. So um, we got a couple quick ones: wing or duckbill. I'm gonna say wing. I'm fine with a wing if you're if you're making more than a stock STI. All right. So are you duckbill then? I uh, duck though. Um, what Just would be your one. dream car under 100k? Me right now, honestly, it's that new Corvette. I don't know why I've been in love. Mid engine, they're cool. Yeah, I think for just the price, man, that thing is fantastic. Yeah, I think it's a, I, it's totally different. So I would get that. If um, if that didn't exist, probably a GTR. Yep, mine, mine's the R35 GTR. Yeah. Um, I'd love to have an older one. Those things are cool too, but. Yeah, I, I even just the, the Godzilla new one. man. Yeah, they're just Godzilla. so cool. Yeah. Um, let's see. Two more. Yeah. Um, who taught you to drive stick, and did you know prior to purchasing your WRX? Me, I didn't know before my last WRX, my 2011. I bought it. My dad took me out once around the block, and he said the only way you're gonna learn is if you just go for it. But I did drive dirt bikes my whole life. So, so you understood how it was kind of like yeah. the same thing. I was just switching my hand and my foot. Um, so I understood everything. So I, I, you know, I practiced for like another week and then, uh, it was actually on Easter. <laughs> um, I had to go with Vanessa and her sister Andrea somewhere. So they were like, why don't we take your new car? Because I actually still had my old car at the time. So I was like, all right, so I'm driving and they're like, wow, you're doing really good. I go, really? Cause it's the first time I'm driving, not around the block. And they were like, what? We're in the car. So it, uh, it worked out pretty well. That's funny. Um, I had driven stick for about 10 or 15 minutes before I bought my car. So when I, by the time I bought my car, I didn't have the experience, but I watched a, sh a, a ton, a ton of YouTube videos, learning how the, the best way to do things, how a shifter actually works. Um, yeah, so I learned, I, by the time I got into the car, I knew how to drive stick. It's like knowing how to play a sport, but never playing it. You just, yeah, you there's just, a huge learning curve. So the first two weeks after buying the car was absolutely terrible. Um, it was the first time I'd ever basically driven stick on my own um, for more than 15 minutes. So uh, it was horrible for the first two weeks, but yeah, I had massive learning curve and out of nowhere, I just started getting it. And I, I'd say I'm a pretty good stick driver now. Yeah. I have never money shifted. God, I shouldn't have said that. Knock on wood. <laughs> um, yeah, cool. All, All right, right, last one. And my favorite one, um, oh. 2021 WRX, question mark. Um, now for me, it comes down to if it's a hybrid, I'm out. I'll have nothing to do with it. We need more information. But yeah, so, so we told, definitely need more information. Um, what it looks like is obviously the biggest thing because if it looks shitty, obviously. I saw a render you know, where basically they put, they pasted a Camry rear end on it because they, I've been partnering, partnering yeah. with uh, Toyota for the last couple builds but um, um for me it depends <sighs> it also it depends i i mean i would have gotten the sti i could afford the sti but i didn't because you're not gaining anything you're you know i'm at 25 miles per gallon driving around like a douchebag and my other wrx was like at like 13. so on a, on, a, on a flat out <laughs> flat out street race a full bolt on wrx will beat a full bolt on oh, sti absolutely. and i've seen it all the time this this engine de definitely is just the better engine yeah uh, it doesn't sound as good but that's yeah, yeah um that's basically the only advantage the sti has so if the sti has like the fa24 and you know a little bit bigger than this one then i could see myself doing that if the rumors of 400 horsepower is true, it's definitely something for us to consider. And I've, well, I've really been thinking about it. The, so. my, my one fear about this car is that they're gonna try to compete with the Supra 
and they're going to make it the price of the Supra. I doubt it. That's if, my if, fear if, because if the base model is more than 50k. They're no. they're no because they've always fo focused. Subaru is always focused on because the base STI is like 33. If they make the base 40, you know, and then they have your premium at 48, and then for the STI, that's probably what they're gonna end up doing. I hope I would like if they kept it the same. If they kept it in the 30s and kept the WRXs at the you know the 25s, I mean, they're, yeah, they're what 20s, everyone uh, comment down below. What what is your vote? If you guys made it this far in the video. Congratulations. Thank you guys for watching so for so long, but um, Comment down below. How much do you think the new 2021 base STI is going to cost? Down in the comments and we're gonna check back as soon as it's we're gonna go back to yeah. this video And we'll probably give a prize to I whoever's hope, the closest. I hope so. they keep it the uh, I hope they keep it the same I'd like if they kept it the same and just you know, my, obviously it'll my go vote up is 30 thousand, my vote is 38 5 for your base for the base STI? 2021 STI. What do you think the WRX is? Because it's 27. I say 30, 30, 30, 30. Oh. I say they keep it under. Mm. 29.5. 29. 29.5. 29. Yeah. 29. yeah, I think 28.5 for the WRX. And I hope the SDI is like 35. But I have a fear that it's going to be like 40. Yeah. I just, I feel like because the Super did you know pretty well at the price range that it was at 350 if they are making 400 horse and they just undercut it by a little bit then you know yeah. all right we've been talking for about like half an hour here so this might be a long video but for those of you again who watched all the way through thank you guys so much for watching we appreciate everyone um we have more actual car content coming up very soon and uh, we already had those planned out and they all uh, we will have more and more videos coming out for you guys so uh every week for the rest of the year regardless of the uh what's happening globally so cool all right thank you guys so much for watching like and subscribe comment yeah. thumbs up whatever you want to do go wild <laughs> just go nuts in the comments yeah, yeah. go nuts everyone have a party all right guys we'll see you guys peace in the next one